Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today it will be a very special video because we're celebrating two things. The channel's first anniversary. The year went by extremely fast and we think that the channel's quality has gone up so much. And the fact that we recently hit 500 subscribers. From now on, we will try to share with you just the best chemistry content and its quality possible. We want to thank you so much, so we decided that we will make this video about the reaction that kind of looks like it is magic. The Belusov Zabotinsky. We wanted to do this reaction for quite a long time now. Ever since we saw it on Nile Red's channel, we knew that we should give it a try. It looked like it was magic, and it was definitely the weirdest and one of the most beautiful reactions that we ever saw. So we bought the necessary chemicals for it. The first one being sodium bromate. It's an extremely strong oxidizer and can be used in some pyrotechnic mixtures as well. Next reagent is sodium bromide. It's just like regular salt, but the difference is in the anion, where in regular salt is a chloride anion, but in this one, it's a bromide one. But we actually forgot to bring the bromide, so we had to evaporate a solution of bromide to get it. Next chemical is malonic acid. A decarboxylic acid that is used in many oscillation reactions. The other two include sulfuric acid, and ferroin indicator. Sulfuric acid is pretty straightforward, but the ferroin is more elusive. We had to make it ourselves. To do that, we needed two chemicals, iron 2-sulfate and 110-phenethylene monohydrate. So let's start this journey by firstly making some ferroin indicator. To do that, we will firstly need to weigh out 0.7 grams of the iron sulfate. Then we added it to a grad cylinder. And lastly, we added 90 milliliters of distilled water. Next, it was time to crank out the 110-phenanthroline monohydrate, 1.5 grams to be exact. Just look at these beautiful crystals that cost us 50 euros for 5 grams. But the end reaction was worth it. Next it was time to add the phenanthroline to the sulfate solution. Immediately there was a blood red coloring as the ferroin was formed. All there was left to do is to wait for all the phenanthroline to dissolve, which took a surprisingly long time. Once it completely dissolved, we moved the ferroin to a storage bottle and moved on to making other solutions for the reactions. There were three solutions, A, B, and C. Solution A is composed of 5 grams bromate, 67 mils of water, and 2 mils of sulfuric acid. Next, it was time to prepare the solution B. It's made by dissolving one gram of malonic acid in 10 mils of water. And 
lastly the solution C. It was prepared by dissolving 1 gram of sodium bromide in 10 mils of distilled water. Now, with every solution prepared, we can finally do the belousov zabotinsky reaction. Yes, at the end it was all worth it. When we first saw the reaction in real life, it was really like magic. The reaction is really beautiful and also very complex. We still don't exactly know what is really going on. All we know is that oxidation and reduction are happening one after another as the reaction oscillates. That is why the blue circles keep on forming. Also a very unique thing is that the blue circles are just a paper thin layer on the red solution surface and it looks as if they were made from a solid compound. Nevertheless, the reaction was a complete success. As we mentioned before, we waited so long to do this reaction and we found the perfect time for it. The 500 subscriber special video. So for the end, here's some beautiful shots of the reaction. So again, thank you for all of your support and don't miss on the next videos, they're coming soon. Enjoy.